Hi, my name is Sandy. Today we'll be exploring Google Arts and Culture. You could have this experience by way of a website, but there are also some additional features you can use if you download the Arts and Culture app for your smart device. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards. Here's how to get started with your adventure in Google Arts and Culture. Find your way to Google Arts and Culture, and it's artsandculture.com. This is a starting page for your experience in this tutorial. If you're not logged into Chrome, you will be prompted to do so when you enter this site. When you first enter the website, there are several things I'd like to point out. First, the front page changes almost daily to reflect what's happening that day. Today, for example, I'm recording on February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. As you can see, the highlight for today is Kisses in Art. You can see the headline as Travel Across Art History with the Most Famous Kisses and Embraces. The next thing I would like to point out is the three lines on the top left. Sometimes people call these three lines the hamburger in Google Chrome. When you click the hamburger, this will expand the list of everything that arts and culture has to offer. As you can see, the list is rich in content. A great place to start is by clicking on Explore. Once you enter this area, you can find content by going through highlights or search by way of categories. You can even search through the arts by a timeline or even by color. To find a virtual art museum tour, you could even go to collections and if you click on view all, you'll be able to find some hidden art treasures for yourself. While you are exploring, you can also locate weekly highlights and popular topics. You could find local arts and culture by going to the nearby section. And if you go to profile, here's where you could save your favorites and even create your own gallery that you'll be able to share and come back to later. By visiting collections, you could find the museum list and you could also search by themes. But one really great place to look at is experiments. It will open a new tab and then this is where you'll have a lot of your interactive activities. You could search by way of artists, mediums, art movements, and so on. One great place I'd like to point out is searching by way of places. This is where you can go to all different types of places, like Poland, for example. If you want to go to Poland, you can learn about a little bit about the country, and you could also find museums within the country, along with stories. And you can organize it by events. And again, there's a timeline. So there you have it, a closer look into the Google Arts and Culture website. Before I go, make sure to check out the Arts and Culture app for your smart devices. This is where you can find even more features that Google has to offer. One activity, for example, you could find the art selfie. This is where you can take a photograph of yourself to discover which artworks most look like you. What do you think? Did we just find our fine art doppelgangers? Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.